The Lagos State Waterways Authority, LASWA, has warned that it won't hesitate to wield the big stick against any boat operator who violates the rules and regulations guiding the waterways. The general manager of the state's waterways authority, Olua Damilola Emmanuel, maintained that LASWA would remain committed to providing adequate support to improve boat services while training boat ferry crew. A correspondent love Ikukoyedoko reports. Water transportation is often described as cheap and forms a part of public transportation system in Lagos State. But as popular as this mode of transportation seems, it is still considered by many as unsafe. This is a major reason for the convergence of stakeholders in the waterways transport system in Lagos. What this train is going to help do is going to even help prevent, you know, um, possible incidents on the waterways and of course equip the operators with the necessary skills and knowledge they should have of navigation on the inland waterways. So we're very, very excited about this. The waterways today in Nigeria, a case study of Lagos State, we could see that uh, a lot of areas have been having lapses regarding safety and security, especially of passengers. However, the ultimate that should be for the boat operators is to be on the safety force of the passengers. Secondly, is every other thing to be added. Our uh, members who operate in the transport subsector of the Nigerian economy, they belong to the informal sector. And with the statistics available uh, nationwide, over 60% of the economy is informal. Here in Lagos State, for example, almost 70% of the economy is informal. So we constitute this uh, informality. And if we are doing this to build capacity, to stimulate growth, we are in a way contributing to the economy, uh, not just of the state, but at the federal level as well. Oluwada Milola Emmanuel is the general manager, Lagos State Waterways Authority, LASWA. He says the Lagos State government is leaving no stone unturned in ensuring safety on its waterways. As an authority, we will have a carrot approach. And I'll explain what I mean by carrots. I will also have a stick approach. I will support you in every way I can as a regulator. But at the same time, if you break the rules and regulation of the waterways, I will not support you. Representatives of Inland Waterways and Nimasa take the trainees through the rules of the waterways. They must have an equipment on board that they should be able to respond if there is fire on board that vessel. They also have an equipment on board we call an OAS. If they are, if, if they are moving and suddenly happen to, to their engine, their engine break down. The OAS is, is a wooden part that they can use it to manually navigate the vessel until they get a rescue. Anybody they caught on water that is not duly licensed will face the full wrath of the law because it means that you are not fully equipped to do that job you are doing and you put other people's life at risk in that process. They attributed the cause of mishaps on waters to untrained boat operators who are unperturbed about safety measures coupled with poor search and rescue measures. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.